In the previous video, I built a large 7 segment display using leftover wood from a laser cutter project. It had 84 LEDs and worked really well. In that video, I promised to build a digital clock with it, so today, we're doing just that. This video is proudly sponsored by PCBWay, a leading company with over 11 years of experience in manufacturing all kinds of PCBs, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, CNC machining, and more. To celebrate their 11th anniversary, they're hosting a 30-day event where you can win lots of exclusive coupons. So don't wait, visit their website for more details. The link to join the celebration is right below this video. To speed things up, I drill through several layers of wood at the same time. But be careful, this method isn't super precise. The digital clock I have in mind is a four-digit one. Building a six-digit version would be too big and a lot more complicated. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, don't worry. It'll show up at the end of this one. And you can watch it with just one click. But don't leave just yet, there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. Now, the module we're using to keep track of time is the DS1307. I actually made a video about it last year where I showed how accurate it is. But since it's been powered off since then, I think it's a good idea to test it again. As you can see, it's working just fine. I also wrote a program for the Arduino to display the time on a 7-segment display. It turned out really cool. I'll make sure to link all the resources for this project down in the description. At this stage, you can connect the seven segment displays with whatever spacing you like. I used half the width of a single segment as my spacing. Sorry. I couldn't film much of the wiring process, it's a bit tricky to record while working with all those wires. But don't worry, I'll make up for it later in the video. This is the main board where I've placed the processor in the DS1307 module. For wiring the segments, just connect all the matching segment pins together, so all the A's to A's, B's to B's, and so on. Then connect them to the microcontroller. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Once the wiring is done, I'll stick all three parts together. The wiring in this project was definitely tricky and time-consuming, but honestly, it was really satisfying too. Wouldn't it be cool if this project had an auto-dimmer? So I might add an LDR sensor later on. Just something to consider for the next step.
Now it's time to explain the Arduino program. For this project, we only need the hours and minutes. All you have to do is convert those values into integers, then separate the ones in tens digits. And write the codes that turn on the right segments on the display. Just one important thing to watch out for, use this command only once. And when you want to put the microcontroller on the clock, make sure to remove that line of code, because every time it runs, it writes to the DS1307 module's memory. Since it's not connected to a computer, the memory can get damaged. Unfortunately, I didn't know this at first, and my clock ended up being 2.5 minutes slow. But no worries, I'm planning to use touch switches to set the time. I think that's enough for this video. If I manage to add more features to the project, I'll definitely share them with you. Please don't forget to like the video and leave your comments below. Thanks so much for watching.